Hi, my name is Tasha Jones and I work with Connections Area Agency on Aging through the Elder Abuse Prevention Awareness Program. Connections serves the 20 Southwest counties in the state of Iowa. We are partnering together with the other five area agencies on aging to bring awareness to elder abuse, show the different forms of abuse, and ways together that we can engage to prevent future abuse. Emotional abuse is any action towards an elder that causes emotional or psychological distress. Examples of would be lying, threatening, intimidating, blaming, or even ignoring an elder to pressure them into doing something they, they normally wouldn't. Um, this could be pressuring them into changing their power of attorney forms, um, changing their will, or even making a financial decision that is out of normal for them. We can see this that um, some individuals will do this on purpose. Um, for their selfish gain. Others do it um, as a very passively, not meaning to, um, with the added stress on maybe being their caregiver, um, even the added stress with the COVID-19 pandemic that we're going through, um, with you know the social distance that has them have less support in that unique role that they fill. Um, so it is important that even though we are encouraged to do social distance, that does not mean that we do not socially engage. Um, ways that we can engage um, safely is that we can still call individuals, call our elders, call our caregivers, check in on them to make sure that they're doing okay, making sure that they have what they need. Um, we can still provide that physical support, but still be six feet apart. Um, maybe just having coffee on the porch, um, engaging through even the windows um, of the home, um, sending over food, um, and just, again, checking in on them. And so we are asking, um, June 15th is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Um, this day that we are asking people to wear purple, um, in support of World Elder Abuse Awareness Day and to continue to have that conversation that elder abuse happens, unfortunately. Um, and we need to, together again as a community, take a stand, educate, support to prevent future abuse. So if you know anybody who uh, may be experiencing abuse or uh, may just need some resources, um, if you call Lifelong Links at 866 Four six eight seven eight eight seven. you will be connected with your local area agency on aging to explore the different resources that are available um, so we can support our caregivers and also help prevent future elder abuse. Thank you.